Do you ever wonder what the future holds for humanity with the advent of biogenetic engineering? A question that may sound out of a science fiction novel, but it's the reality we're swiftly moving towards. Biogenetic engineering, the manipulation of genes within organisms, is poised to dramatically alter the course of human history. Imagine a world where parents can customize their babies in the womb, selecting traits like eye color, intelligence, or athletic ability. This isn't mere conjecture, it's the concept of designer babies, and it's closer than we might think. Now picture a battlefield. Instead of tanks and drones, there are soldiers, genetically enhanced for strength, speed and resilience. They are the so-called designer soldiers, a potential consequence of biogenetic engineering. These possibilities paint a picture of a future both exciting and terrifying. As we delve deeper into this complex and controversial topic, consider the implications it could have on our society. Imagine a world where parents can predetermine their child's traits. Welcome to the era of designer babies. This is not a plot from a dystopian novel, but a reality we're inching closer to with each passing day. Biogenetic engineering is pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible, enabling us to potentially select our child's height, eye color, intelligence, and much more. A recent survey revealed that over 50% of parents would consider genetically modifying their future children if given the opportunity. This statistic might seem startling, but it's an indication of the allure that this technology holds. The promise of a healthy, intelligent and attractive child is indeed tantalizing. But what if we step back and examine the potential repercussions? What if we end up creating a genetic underclass, where those who cannot afford such modifications are left behind? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? A society divided not just by wealth, but by genetic superiority. Moreover, the loss of diversity could have far-reaching implications. Diversity is not just about cultural richness, it's a key component of our survival as a species. It allows us to adapt, evolve and thrive in changing environments. If we start engineering our children to fit a certain ideal, we might be unknowingly setting ourselves up for failure in the long run. And then there's the question of ethics. Is it right to play God, to decide how a person should be even before they're born? It's a heavy question and one that demands serious contemplation. So, while the idea of perfecting our offspring may seem appealing, it does come with its share of ethical dilemmas and potential dangers. This new era is both exciting and terrifying. It presents us with a choice, a choice to embrace the unknown or to tread cautiously, aware of the potential pitfalls that lie ahead. It's a decision that will undoubtedly shape the future of humanity. Would you believe that countries could potentially create superhuman soldiers using biogenetic engineering? This may sound like the plot of a science fiction film, but it's a reality that we might have to grapple with sooner than we think. Consider this. Biogenetic engineering, the science of altering and manipulating the genes within an organism's DNA, has been making significant strides in recent years. This technology holds immense potential, from curing genetic diseases to improving agricultural yield. But like any powerful tool, it also has a dark side. Imagine nations using this technology to create designer soldiers. These are not your average soldiers. They are genetically enhanced to be stronger, faster, more resilient and potentially resistant to pain and fear. It's like creating a real-life Captain America, but without the moral compass. Now let's delve into some disturbing possibilities. What if countries start using these designer soldiers in warfare? This could lead to an unprecedented arms race, not of nuclear weapons, but of genetically engineered superhumans. The potential dangers are manifold. On one hand, we have the risk of dehumanization. These genetically modified soldiers might be seen not as individuals with rights and feelings, but as mere tools of destruction, as weapons. On the other hand, there's the risk of escalation. If one country develops these super soldiers, others will feel compelled to follow suit to maintain parity, potentially sparking a new kind of global arms race. Moreover, the ethical implications are staggering. Do we have the right to manipulate human genetics to such an extent? What happens to the concept of fair play in warfare? And what about the potential for these modifications to be passed on to future generations? These are questions that we must ponder as we stand on the cusp of this new era in biogenetic engineering. The creation of designer soldiers could potentially escalate conflicts and threaten world peace. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? As if the threat of designer soldiers wasn't enough, biolaboratories themselves could become the new weapons. 
Imagine a world where the most dangerous weapon isn't a nuclear bomb, but a lab filled with petri dishes. It sounds like science fiction, but it's closer to reality than you might think. As we continue to push the boundaries of biogenetic engineering, we're also pushing the boundaries of what's possible in warfare. There are thousands of biolaboratories scattered across the globe, each one a hub of scientific exploration. They are places where miracles can happen, where we can unravel the mysteries of our DNA and potentially cure diseases that have plagued us for centuries. But these labs can also be places of darkness, where the same tools that can heal can also harm. Consider the potential for misuse. With the right knowledge and a lack of scruples, these labs could be used to create biological weapons of unprecedented power. We're not just talking about diseases we already know. We're talking about entirely new pathogens, engineered in a lab to be more contagious, more deadly, or more resistant to treatment. Such weapons could wreak havoc on a scale we've never seen before. They could decimate populations, overwhelm healthcare systems, and create a global public health crisis. And because they're biological, they could do all this while leaving infrastructure untouched. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But it's not just speculation. In the past, there have been incidents where dangerous pathogens have been accidentally released from labs causing outbreaks. And that's without even considering the potential for deliberate misuse by those with malicious intent. While biolaboratories have the potential to advance our understanding of genetics, they also pose a significant risk if misused. They're a double-edged sword, combining the promise of scientific advancement with the threat of biological warfare. As we move forward into this brave new world, we need to be aware of these risks and take steps to mitigate them. Because the stakes aren't just high, they're existential. As we've seen, the potential dangers of biogenetic engineering are numerous and significant. The promise of a brighter future with designer babies and superhuman soldiers may seem alluring, but the risks are staggering. We've delved into the dark corners of biogenetic engineering, where the unchecked ambition of science can lead to dire consequences. We've seen how the concept of designer babies, a seeming miracle of science, can lead to a dangerous path of eugenics and social inequality, where the rich can afford to engineer their offspring for success, while the less fortunate are left behind in the genetic dust. We've also explored the chilling notion of designer soldiers. Imagine a world where countries could breed armies of superhumans, each more formidable than the last. It sounds like a science fiction dystopia, yet it's a future that could be all too real. We've seen the potential for bio-laboratories to become the new battlegrounds, where countries could weaponize biogenetic engineering, creating biological weapons more potent and dangerous than any nuclear bomb. These are not mere fantasies or hyperboles. These are real possibilities. Take a peek into the future. Educate yourself. The future of humanity may very well depend on it.